Yo, what's the deal? We back with another episode of L.A. the King versus Show the Great Sports Pod, episode number three, brought to you by Don't Get Tricked Network. Uh, welcome back. It's your boy, Big Lee. Man, I thought we was on uh, episode two. I know we. I know I'm. I know I'm lying. I ain't know what we was on right now. I've been looking Lee that so much. I thought we just started. Yeah, man, come on, man. L's out here. <clears throat> L's. I ain't took an L a day in my life. You try to throw me off because you know I was on on the Showtime in Paris talking all that love and woman stuff. And then you try to sneak up on me and put the sports one. Thought I was off guard, but I'm ready. I'm ready to yeah. go. Yo, it's, it's time. It's time. You know, we want to thank everybody that's going to be tuning in. Uh, we we going to go jump right into it. Just make sure everything is, is gravy with my boy. Showy, you good out there? How How's Showy Picks uh, doing? Oh, uh, man. It's, shoot, hopefully it's doing great. I'm waiting on a couple bets right now, about two to three. Had a big day uh, yesterday and the day before. Do you, Have you been betting on the Olympics too? I've been betting on anything playing. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey. I didn't, even, I didn't even know uh, that the gold medal game was the night. I did. I got a. I got some money on that, too. One of the games away. Yeah, I, I didn't even know. I'm like, I just seen I just seen it on Bleacher Report. I said, oh, shit, 1030? That's right right on time. When the women play, like the um, – yeah, I think that's tomorrow. They going for their seventh straight uh, club in the world up. Well, they – they better than the men overall in terms of not – men will smack them if they play, but women just, is still uh, more dominant in the U.S. I'm about than to say, worldwide. Yeah, women still cheeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They ain't got no female yokish running around or nothing. Yeah. Oh. But uh, well, let's let's just jump right into it, man. Let's, we got NBA free agency to start off with. Uh, we got what? What else we got to get into? NFL starting up. Just had their first oh, preseason man, game, uh, so that means you know fantasy is popping. So, but we're gonna talk the big news out of coming out of free agency. It wasn't a free agency signing, but Westbrook signing with the Lakers is probably the biggest news so far the all season. Not uh, getting traded with the Lakers. I mean, of course it is to you. Uh, let, uh, full disclosure: I want everybody to know that. Uh, Leroy's team is uh, for the last 17 seasons, whatever team LeBron on. So when he talk about the Lakers, it's extra passionate. So, of course, he want to get right into the Lakers sign. And he so he got that smug-ass look on his face because he played the <laughs> title. It ain't going to happen, though. Yeah, let's get into that that second-place runner-up team, Los Angeles Lakers, that's going to take that L to the uh, Brooklyn Nets down the road. I mean, assuming they get past the Splash Brothers this year. The who? Is, is, is it really is it really considered the Splash Brothers still? They don't even know how Clay could shoot. Man, uh, <laughs> Steph's so good. I don't even feel good lumping him in with somebody else on that team. He gonna have to step his game up for you be a brother. But uh, no, nah, uh, that's a big. They had a uh, good draft. That's another part of the thing we could get into is the draft, uh, possibly trading of Ben Simmons. What they what they uh, Philly asked for from. From them, but of course we're going with the Lakers to start. Yeah, I'm a Bron fan. Not the last 17 years. My boy going in year 19, bro. I, I've been I've been riding with them. So we and when we brought Carmelo, people like, oh, you been shitting on Carmelo. I ain't been shitting on Carmelo, but I ain't talking about the Carmelo yeah. that led the Knicks. I'm talking about the I like the Carmelo Carmelo. That's the you know the role player now that been in Portland the last two years. You know, uh, so uh, let me see. Let me go on to my mental uh, Leroy Rolodex real quick. Yeah, you've been uh, yeah, you ain't had nothing bad to say about him the last couple of years, so I let it slide now that you you hyped the on your <laughs> squad right now. He you ain't like him on the Nick when, when he was uh, your boy's rival coming up, but you like him as a as an old nigga shooting threes in the corner. Oh, yeah, I mean, like I said, he he's now he he plays, he he knows. That's why he was out of the league and was having because they was having trouble thinking he was still that old Denver Nuggets, New York Nick Mellow. I'm gonna carry you. Now it seemed like I don't know. He humbled himself. He probably in reality still think like I could get these old these buckets myself 
the way I used to. They just ain't letting me still do that. I'm but sure if he, especially watching Brian and them still be like an MVP race, and Chris yeah. Paul was just up for the MVP in their class. You know, in his mind, he still feel like, yeah, I, I could average twenty five a night, but the team's won't let me do my thing. Yeah, it probably probably when he around his his homeboys, like, bro, you you know, I'm still about that. He be at that that gym uh, in New York and whatever, and he be killing them over there, but. Uh, who else? Who else we signed? They got Trevor Reza. You know, they all the jokes is the Lakers. They got all these old heads. Uh, that's the oh, big wait, thing. Wait, 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 wait. We gonna get to all that. Don't play around. You got Russell Westbrook. That's why we talking about this. Let's get to. Yeah. How you think they go the big the Russell. big three. What big three you taking? First of all, are you taking Harden, Kyrie, hey. Grant, or Russ? Your boy Brian and AD. Which Lakers. Lakers and six. I ain't ask you that right now because you lying. But what big three? Better? I'm, I'm taking. I'm, ta- I'm going with uh, the Lakers. You don't lie. You could even say it straight. Look at you. Keep trying not to smile, trying not to laugh. But uh, I'm glad you said that because I'm gonna hold. You. Oh, we make. Oh, let's make a bet live on air so you know everybody know if Lakers in Brooklyn face off. Hey, we can make the bet uh, live on air. You show you the picks. Lakers. If Lakers and Nets play each other, two hundred dollars. All right, y'all yeah. heard this out here. I see the people in the uh, comments that I gotta act like I don't see yet, but <laughs> <laughs> y'all write this down. Y'all write this down. You know, I, I I'm riding with my with my my people. It, it, Lee, it's nothing. We lose like two bets a season to me, so that's one of them. That's the first one. Uh, who who won last year? I don't remember all that. It was a pandemic. All right, say less. You got the bubble yeah. bet. The Lakers come out with a lineup next year. It 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 would have been even great if it was 2012, but <laughs> on paper it still looked good. If you got Wes at the one, uh, who you gonna put at the two? Uh, Let's go with that. Who's your five? Let's start there. Who who you want to see start the five for the Lakers right now? What's the best match? The best lineup for you, man? Uh, my my. Uh, my starting five, I want Russ, Malik Monk, uh, LeBron, Carmelo, and Anthony Davis. That's playing AD at the five. You said LeBron, Russ, Carmelo, Anthony Davis, and who? Malik Monk. If it's not Malik Monk, it's going to be uh, Wayne Ellington. I think that's the, I think that's the <laughs> five that should at least close the game. I'll put Wayne Ellington in instead of Monk because I just think uh, Monk more of an ISO six man get his buckets. I think they gonna want to they don't want to have too many go getters out there. I think they'd rather have Ellington sit in the corner for Brian. Uh, so I think uh, I think the starting five. I wonder if they gonna start Melo. I think they should for his psyche. I think he had better starter than he is a bench player, make him feel more important. Just but keep you, him for you, three, take him out. You also wanted, which is welcome back, Dwight to start. I did want the white star. I hate seeing the white on the bench. It looks stupid. I don't want no big, bulky ass uh, military looking soldier coming in as a six man uh, catching out. Just come in, take him out in, in 30 seconds if you got to. Just let him start the game. <laughs> and you got something in for uh, AD later, stagger the minutes. But he he only be playing like 15 to 17 wow, minutes a game. Like, why, why do they be doing that now? He be getting like four fouls in those 15 minutes. Yeah, he, he still, it's like, bro, you was never like that type of fouler. Like, Used to play thirty something minutes a game. Now, why, why, why are you coming in like, like you, like a Fowler? I feel like ever since the refs heard about him and that dude in Atlanta, they've been just calling stuff on him. <laughs> anyway, you might want to edit that out. But <laughs> hey, but you not so you taking the Nets three over the Lakers big three? Yeah, I think. Uh, Durant's the best player on the court now. Then I think Harden is better than AD. And uh, I like Kyrie over Westbrook. I mean, and they shoot. They, all three, both big threes can score, but the, all three of the other ones, big threes, is elite shooters. So, I, so you got matching up. It's, it's 3 0 nets to you. Depends on how you want to match them up. Yeah, it's 3 0. <laughs> But it's a close. It's like not like a blowout. It's just styles of play. I like I like the jump shooters better. They all shoot. Hey, 
is putting the putting the ball in the hole. It, but who who who's the who's the other teammates? It don't matter. We got Patty Mills now. That's a big net signing. They got Patty Mills. Blake is back. You've been hating on my man Blake. Blake back. Who else they got? Um, are they still? Do they still keep everybody? Are they ain't let go of uh, Joe Harris, even though he couldn't shoot for shit. And um, Joe Harris still there. Uh, Jeff Green, you lost to the Nuggets. That was a big loss. But they wasn't playing them like that. You still got DeAndre Jordan. That's my guy. You've been hating on him. <laughs> Look, Steve Nash hating on him too because he don't play him. He heard. He heard. You've been watching your your pies and watching your tweets and stuff. You've been dogging them, making them feel. I think that's a strategy you use to like lower his value. Because I, I, I I've been right, but you ain't been right. When he played, he catched the oops. Look, let me let me let me get into because like I said, we got other free agent signings out there too. Because we gotta get to the Chicago Bulls who had a nice off season. The Knicks, we gonna do a little quick. What what's uh like? What's the top teams in the East right now in the West? Like, what's your playoff eight? Yeah, because, man, you got a little difference of opinion. I don't think you value some of the East teams I value right now. Okay, but first, let's get into to the comments. Uh, O'Neal Nato, what's up, Ant? Big O, what up? That's Nate, brother. Okay, I, I figured Nato. <laughs> right. <laughs> and Drea, hey, y'all. What's up, Drea? Drea members. Uh, I that's wild. I don't know that clown. Now, nah, what up, I? They always going. They always gonna be the Splash Brothers. My boy Candy, you. Yeah. I've uh, been a fan since high school. That's on my Bron. You talking about me or Bron? Uh, probably Bron, since I've been a fan of Bron since high school. I assume. Uh, Clay will not lose his shot. He won't. You just gotta be able to walk to get to it. <laughs> uh, what's that say? He Vince Cartered it up. Who are you talking about? Uh, I don't even know. Oh, I like this energy. I think he's talking about that bet. That's easy money for me, Ike. Ike, you already know what time it is. I don't know why somebody would bet. He said, "Y'all skip and Shannon." Uh, let me put a dub up for the Lakers. You most certainly can. I take your money. <laughs> He put Dwight at the five. I feel the same way. I let him uh, make a defensive impact. Oh, Dwight. Uh, best what? Oscar no- nominee, Blake is back. Stop. Y'all going to stop hating on Blake, man. Look, Candy said Heat went in the chip. The shit. What shit? What's good, <laughs> Showtime? What's good, T. Maddie? Okay, so we got Kyle Lowry went to the uh, Miami Heat. Uh, what, so what, what do you think about that one? Or do you want to go with the uh, Bulls? I think the Heat could be like they got like that Pistons feel where you got no real great player, but you got five solid dogs and they might overachieve a little bit. I'm just tired of Jimmy Butler, too. Let me put this out there. He is Yo, and he just signed an extension. Uh, and, and his last season, I think he'll be like 36. He already like a old 32 or 31. 36, he gonna be making 50 million that season, yeah. That's crazy, man. Cause salute to that man. But I feel like uh he gets away with the Kawhi Leonard. Like he got the reputation of being like a hard, hard nosed, blue collar player. But if you yeah. check the games, he missed he missed a bunch of the season. He set out a lot of games for somebody supposed to be known as like a blue collar, hard working dude. So I don't know if his injuries or he had kind of prima donna now. But um yeah, but if they if they all play, I think they can do – I think they definitely could do their thing. And uh, I think they can finish – what you got them? On the top half, I give them at least four seed in the East now. I got them number three, actually. Ooh, three is good, but I don't like they better – I don't like the injury situations. I'm going to go with the bu- – the Bucks is the Bulls. No, 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 no. Three, you bugging. You mean you got – so you got them over Philly? I got them over Philly. Because yeah, we, we don't we don't know what's going on with Simmons right now. Simmons like they saying he done cut off communication. Uh he he don't know if if he's gonna be in Philly still, if he's gonna trade him. Uh so I got the heat at this point. I I go Bucks, Nets, Heat, one, two, three. Philly, possibly four, depending on how they want to come in. 
for some reason, I feel like it's going to be a deflated year. If Ben come back, like, they're not going to be uh, as committed. Like, they're going to be, like, playing, but it it's a lot of better teams in the East. Yeah, the East is a – So, pretty- I think that four, five, six could be any, any one of the three teams of Philly, Chicago, and New York. Knicks. I got – out of all them teams you just named, maybe outside of Philly, I think Philly gonna have a letdown season after they was that close and that good. But got, and that's what I'm well, trying Bulls, to say. Like he too. I got the that, Bulls at three, three to four. But that's what I'm trying to say. Like Philly having that letdown year, and uh, the, with the Bulls, I just think the Bulls they don't. Oh, get to it, these comments because people are saying some interesting things in there. It's breaking up some good points in there. Hold on, let me see where we left off. Ike said Kyle uh, finally going to get in shape. Yeah, he need to. SD, you, you, you. I ain't seen them in the, in the year. I was just thinking about it. I just asked about it the other day. Uh, Terrence said East will be Nets versus Bucks, Bucks and six. Uh, West will be Lakers versus Denver, Lakers and six. Excuse me? The Bucks and six over the Nets? No, he nets in six. My bad. Oh, okay, I was about to. Boy, don't make me. Don't get me riled up on here. <laughs> my out. What's up, Paris? And Paris, Paris said, "What about Atlanta? I don't think Atlanta. Got some nice women out here. <laughs> but then, nah. I think other teams got better, and Atlanta like stayed pat. Yeah, I think they overachieved last year. Yeah." So, I mean, well, obviously, they made it to the Eastern Conference Finals. They definitely won't get there this year. I got them a second round out this year. Finishing around five to six range, get eliminated for a second what, round. What's, your, what's in the East, what's your top team? What's your, your eight playoff teams? Excuse me? Oh, I think so. My top team. Let's not get crazy here. So, the Nets is winning the title. So, we're going to go Nets one. Number like they two. they won it this year. Watch them out. Number two, uh, Greek Freak. You're going to go with the Bucks. Number three, I'm going to go with the Bulls. Uh, number four, Philly. No, yeah, four, Philly, five, Miami. The six, Atlanta. Oh, do the Knicks take a step back? But they got my boy Kemba. The last two spots, I'm going to go. They got, they got Kemba and uh, Evan Fournier. Chill out. I'm going to go Knicks. And Celtics, just because I think Tatum and them will get it. Dang! So you got you got the Knicks taking a step back. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? Yes, I do. I think the other people. I don't know. Knicks play hard though. They might outwork. They, those they play hard. They they bring in everyone back. They and they added, uh, like I said, Fournier and Kimball Walker to the mix. All right, I'm gonna put one stipulation in there. If they start playing my man OB Toppin, they get to the four fifth seed. Your rookie of the year. Watch your mouth. Don't say that about OB Toppin. Every time OB Toppin get any produce, you've been hating on that young man. See, and like I said, uh, I got my my top eight in the in the in the East. One the Bucks, two the Nets, three the Heat, four. I'm gonna go Chicago. We, we got to get into their signings, and their starting five look pretty – it can be pretty scary, but, look, I still don't believe in uh, Zach Levine as, like, their best player, though. Zach Levine, nice, but they got they got five, they got got five a good whole five. But go ahead. Yeah, they, they got a good – they got a good whole five, you know, that – that uh, it's a legit five. Probably, it, it could be up there with one of the best starting fives in the game. When you come to think about it, uh, who they're gonna be? Who their point is? Uh, Lonzo. Two is the the Rosen or uh, or whoever you want. You could switch them out. The Rosen or Levine. Their four is their rookie from last year, Pat Williams, and then their five is Vucevic. And then they got the they got the white Michael Jordan coming off the bench, Alex Caruso. I forgot they got that workhorse cornball. He was hurt. I heard you cry when Caruso left the Lakers. Hey, he offered. got that money. He went back to the Lakers like, hey, this is what they offered. The Lakers said, hey, see. 
Don't say the Lakers like the Lakers make decisions. LeBron said, fuck up out of it. <laughs> LeBron but, ain't getting so much money. He ain't like his head, man. But that's a good, that's a good starting lineup. Now we got to see how they play together. Uh, so I, I put them at the four right now. New York at the five. Oh, that's tough. Philly at the six. That's what I'm saying. You see, you saying they are gonna take a step back, but you gotta look at you, how far down you think Philly gonna be this year. I yeah, I don't know. I can't see them going from one to six. Remember, they had the best record yeah, in the about four to five. Yeah, so I put them at at five and put the Knicks at six. You want to talk all that shit and put the Knicks exactly where I had them? No, you hit the Knicks at seven. <laughs> you me. Uh I, I wanna yeah, I wanna put the Knicks at four, but sounds crazy. Why? There was a there was a four seed last year. Niggas ain't playing around this year. This ain't that that kind of party, but you're already fired up right now. Hey, all, all I know is a lot a lot of uh people ran away from the West once somebody got there, but I <laughs> that ain't my that, that's for another topic, I guess. No, uh, you no. Know, he got there, then he got the he got the motherfucking Stern. He got David Stern to call his people and make some moves and clear the path again. There he go playing in the weak conference again. Look, rest in peace, David Stern. David Stern reached out. Tell him <laughs> <laughs> David Stern <laughs> reached out from the dead. They told him how the league need to be ran. LeBron, <laughs> after that finals, you want these ratings? Hey, he didn't even care about uh, Adam Silver no more, huh? They talk. They talk. <laughs> uh what about to me the west seemed like it, truthfully it should be a cakewalk for the lakers it would be if the split if, if go to state wasn't bad go to state ain't, ain't playing with y'all little boys out there go to state to me is the second best team right now no nah, don't come back over here no nah, look we still got to see how they play healthy and are they gonna trade would you would you Let's get into that. Would you have made that trade? Or right, before we get that, because uh, we had a uh, couple of ones, and then we ain't get it's gonna segue. I say you put a hundred that the Nets ain't ain't going to be uh be the first seed. You know what? I I would bet you, but when it comes to those those teams that's that pre Madonna, they might not be because they might sit somebody for five games, sit somebody for ten games, do all that back back. So I don't know how they're gonna schedule it, but I will bet you a hundred that they come out the East. No, bet, bet the finals. And then this is what I'm, we want to get into, and it's going to lead into go to state because Simmons uh, getting traded. So the Daryl Morey asked for Wiggins, Wiseman, and four picks. Would you have did it? Of course not. The hell on with, with Ben Simmons for all of that? I wouldn't have done it. I don't care about the picks. I would have gave him the picks. There's no way I'm getting rid. I'm not getting rid of Wiggins and Wiseman for him. I don't think he's better than two two solid. You got a uh, that was that's essentially giving away your second round pick that could have been a number one pick. You don't know the how number, the number two pick. You mean? Yeah, you're giving away your number two pick. I say that could have been a number one. Yeah, like, yeah. He he was either or was preference what people needed, and uh, you never know how good that dude to get. And you need a tall alley oop for for roster fit purposes. I don't think you make the trade for Ben Simmons unless you're getting rid of Draymond. I don't understand how they're gonna have. Draymond and uh, Ben Simmons on the same doing the same shit. They both can't shoot. Like it's not it's not enough shooters out there like that. So I don't like I don't even like the Ben Simmons fit unless they gonna get rid of Draymond. Yeah. Uh, I at first I, I'd seen people. I was like, heck nah, that's way too much to give up for him. But then I'm thinking because you like, oh, you got this kid that could be that could turn into like you say, he could be a generational talent and wise man. But then I'm I, when they somebody I'm listening to people talk, and they like, oh, you mortgaging your future, giving up these picks. Well, Ben Simmons is only 25 years old. Yeah, you ain't mortgaging shit. He's young. He's still <laughs> so he can be your future. Why are you? Why? And this is everybody know LeBron always trade his picks because it's like this young dude. What is, is what is he really gonna do? Like they drafted two young people that's. Should be good, but are they really going to be that good for them this year? And Moody and uh, and uh, uh, Jonathan Kaminga, yeah, 
Like, yeah, I get him. Them for Ben Simmons, no problem. Ben Simmons is going to be. But he, but even Wiseman, Wiseman is a good. He's still a work in progress. He's no, not he, something now. If, if if you if you go go and well, you got to think. Ben Simmons, regardless if we like his game or not, is still an All Star player. Regardless of it, he still is an All NBA performer. So we got you still got to compensate that, and you obviously they said no, so they like nah. But go get. I don't know. I I think it'll work with him over there. Yeah, you might want to. You, you want to get rid of uh, Wiggins and Wiseman though. Yeah, why not? Because Wiggins still young. Wiggins. Look, he still score more than Benson. He had eighteen point a game. At, I like I like Wiggins on the wing with Clay. I like I like that wing. They, Wiggins a good defender now. So I, I think it was uh, Nick Wright. He said this is what he was saying, right? You, the thing with having Clay and Steph on the court be, back in those days when he was healthy, you can put Clay on the best defender and don't have to worry about that, and he's still going to give you oh, his man. shot. Ben Simmons now could be that person because you don't know how he's coming off of the – it's the same ACL and Achilles on the same leg. So you don't know how good defensively he's going to be. Wiggins turned into that defender, though. When, when no, but he's he still not Ben Simmons, though. Ben Simmons was the runner-up defensively. Well, he and, and Simmons can't score like Wiggins. I like, I'd rather have the, the guy who – But it, it, the points, it's not that much difference. Like It's only like two, three points difference. And and do you need that much that much score when Clay come back? I think Andrew Wiggins scoring is going to be affected by it. Don't look at the. Um, That's why Kelly Oubre left because he wasn't going to be coming off the bench. Well, yeah, because it's stacked now. You got Clay, him. They got you got like three, four wings. So there's no, yeah, there's no need for that. But I don't think Wiggins is going to be affected because he was playing like he wasn't playing aggressive anyway. He was just letting the game come to him. No shots still going to be there but when Clay, when when Clay, Clay wasn't there. He was there. He was their second to third option. He still is. Not with Clay there. Third, you say second to third. That's three. Yeah, but he he but most times he was their second because Ubre was bad most of the he year. He wasn't. It, it was games Ubre started scoring more than him. If you look at the yeah, average, but that's not, but most at the second half. Most of the time it was uh, it was Wiggins as the number two option. Yeah, and and and, and not to mention uh, when you said the Wiggins. It don't matter how different the points per game is with Wiggins and Ben Simmons. It's not the same. Uh, ben Simmons can't shoot. So it don't even matter if he can – if they look like on paper they score the same amount, you can't play against Wiggins the way you can play against Ben Simmons. You can slouch off. You can hack a shack. You can do all that. It's a it's a different beast on offense. Like Wiggins got real offensive talent. Look, just put, have him in the post. I like him at the um, – in the Draymond position, like if he's gonna play the the center power forward, like the big, but that, but that's what I'm saying. You you could have him down in, in on the block. It's just right now on Philly, him being in that block is making jo- Joel and B be out on the three. Not and, Wiggins and Wiseman though. If you if you're gonna do one or the other, I think uh, not Wiggins and Wiseman though. You gotta keep one of them for Ben Simmons. Give him Draymond and one of those people. So we got a couple. Uh, <laughs> I said, you just want me to give you a hundred dollars? I appreciate that, but if you want to get the finals, we could do that too, my guy. Emery Kendrick Perkin Williams said uh, the way they get their points is different, though. Simmons fucks up uh, your spacing and everything. That's what I was saying, yeah. And uh, Kelman said, "Go to state needs to trade for Ben Simmons." Hey, Kelman, will would you trade? Uh, who is it? Wiggins, Wiseman, and then the four picks for for uh, Ben Simmons. Yeah, you said they need the trade, but who? Who? who yeah, wh- what are you? What are you trading? To I want Ben him? Simmons too. If they get the right stuff. <laughs> uh, exactly. No comparison. Jay Gray, what up? Between Simmons and Wiggins, and I said it. I think if Ben went to the Warriors, he would become a better shooter. It would be a good career move. That's what people are like. Hey. Yeah, he's still he can get a jumper. Look, he 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 uh he'd be at shoot around with Clay and uh Clay and, and Steph. That ain't work for him. That ain't work for Draymond, who's been there for twenty years and still can't shoot. <laughs> Look, he still shoot more than what's the name? Yeah. Uh Kelman said four picks is ex- is excessive. Fuck them picks, two niggas is excessive. <laughs> So you yeah, you care more about like so if they just like okay give me Wiseman 
and then the two young boys and two more picks after that. Jacob, you cool? You don't plan on having that much of a um, influence in the draft anyway. If you if you mortgage if you got uh, Clay and him and, and Ben Simmons, you're not gonna get a good draft pick anyway. They can take that. Yeah. So he he said Wiseman, Wiggins, and two uh, future picks. Yes, he'll do that. I, I would. I think now. At first, I was. I was like, it's too much. I. I would do it now. I, that's that's me. I would. I would do it. Yes, is this because Wiseman could be a double double dude. He could be fifteen and ten or seventeen and ten. I'm like, I don't want to give up that and another guy getting fifteen, eighteen, just for Ben Simmons, ten, five and five. Like is, is Curry what championship window closing? Yeah, if his team not good enough. Look, he's I, <laughs> Truthfully, I think it's closed, but oh please. You just said they're the second best <laughs> team in the when right. they get those Lakers out next year. Utah Jazz still there too. Don't act like Utah ain't there. Y'all, y'all. We still gotta get into our top eight uh for the West. Here's to stay in against y'all. What what's the top what's your top eight for the West? Before the... In order? Uh, yeah, in order. That's what we're here for. I respect y'all super team and put y'all at one, even though I think y'all might get knocked out. But I'm gonna go Lakers. I'm gonna go uh, Warriors. Not record wise, we going by the top eight like record. Uh, nah, uh, well, the, eight in the playoffs. Give me just the eight that you're gonna make the playoffs. Record wise, I guess however you think, you know. Oh, uh, we're gonna go record. I'm gonna go. I don't think the Lakers gonna have a number one seed because they're gonna be mixing and matching and sending people out probably. But I'll go with Utah. Probably somebody like that had a number. They good in the regular season. They got AD. Probably Utah record wise. Uh, you got Utah Lakers. Um, who number three? Uh, I'm gonna go with the Suns again. Utah Lakers, Suns, Golden State, Doncic. Uh, <laughs> uh, shoot, I don't know if Kawhi coming back or not. It's getting a little tricky now. Um, I, I don't, I don't know if the Clippers that actually they just re-signed uh, Reggie Jackson. So I, I, they might get in the playoffs with that uh, re-signing. Yeah, you say go, the Nuggets. I'm gonna go Nuggets. Um, get Nuggets over if we go in that order. Just put the Nuggets over Luca team. But uh, got Nuggets, Luca. So what's that five? Three, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go with a sleeper. I'm gonna say the um, how the Grizzlies get back in for whatever reason. I don't even know how they keep making it. I say the Grizzlies get in. What about Portland? Portland, they a mess, but they always get in. So I'll say Grizzlies. The game is still there. I'm going to go Pelicans. Get to their first playoffs, AC. Leroy hate the Pelicans roster right now. But I like the uh, Valanchunas. I like Valanchunas, man. He underrated. Going to get you 15 boards, about 15 points. Big body in there. All right. I do want to get to the Pelicans. Uh, my top eight. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Denver one, Utah two, Lakers three, Suns four, go to state five, and that's and I got go to state that low because I think I don't think they play Clay every game. Or they come in pussyfooting them, uh, minute restrictions. Yeah, like I think they're gonna. Back-to-back. It's gonna be they. They're gonna work them in slowly, especially he been out two years, and so record wise, I, I I don't think they'll be. I like that Arnold Porter signing too. Like the way Steph play, if you just had consistent jump shooters out there, they would have yeah. been a whole other team. They got that's, that, that's a good that's a good signing. Uh, Dallas at number six, Clippers at seven. In Portland at eight. So, and you had Memphis, and who do you have Memphis over mine? What you say? Who you added? Memphis? Did I sneak in nine? Because if so, I like how I did that. That was smooth. <laughs> Look, you know they got the playing game. <laughs> um... So, like I said, no, no order now. You got Utah. Hey, he said, 
uh, Clippers at seven is disrespectful. Kelman, remember the Kawhi tore his ACL. He missing at minimum half the season. And you ask yourself, the way Kawhi be with these injuries, is he going to come back? Yeah, I got Kawhi not coming back, and the Clippers falling off. You know, I ain't got them. I ain't got Kawhi playing at all next year. If Kawhi don't play, they're not making the playoffs next year. Uh, M M said he got the Wolves getting better. Oh, I like that. I might got them. Yeah, I like that. They 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 right there. I think they get they get to the playoff game at the least, and then I think they might uh, beat somebody on the head to head. Probably the Pelicans. Might... Yeah, the Pelicans chokes. Let me get Cat in them. Uh, they got a chance to fight for the eighth spot. So, Utah, Phoenix, Denver, Lakers, Warriors, Dallas, Portland, Clippers. I got the Grizzlies missing the playoffs this year, and I'm sliding in. Uh, I'm going with my man. I'm going with M's pick. I, I forgot about them. I'm, I got the I got the Grizzlies taking a step back. I'm sick of them making it with that weak roster, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, Wolves in. So he he said. Clippers without Kawhi is better than the Mavs and Grizzlies. Maybe the Grizzlies, but I I, I, I like the re-signing. Them getting – they got Batum back and they got Reggie Jackson. As long as Reggie Jackson come and play like he did this year, they they could – I think they could get into the playoffs as, as the seventh seed. They can. I'm just hating on them because I don't want to see that depleted roster. But uh, he, he, what do you mean Clippers without Kawhi is better than them? They barely better than them with Kawhi. Did you not watch the series the last two years? They <laughs> quite, ain't no damn way. Luka Doncic going home with no Kawhi out there. It ain't going to happen. And then, and then you brought up uh, – oh, yeah, Serge is back too, Ibaka. But he on his, la- he on his he last leg. I've seen him play. I've seen him shot three jumpers for the season and never seen him on the court again. I ain't counting Serge. <laughs> uh, let's get to the Pelicans. How do you, how do you even like that roster? I I sent you that roster in a text. I told you it wasn't bad. I don't tell you why I like it. My man Devonte Graham out there, he all right. I told you he, he was up and coming. He back in his. In matter of fact, Devonte Graham and uh, Valanciunas might be the only other Pelicans you know, besides Ingram and and, and Zion. You don't disrespect my basketball knowledge. That's first of all. <laughs> but I'm no, saying I that because I I only remember who else on that roster. Walker. Who? Shay Gildress, Alexander. Shay Shay is in uh is in Oklahoma <laughs> City. No, See, that's his cousin. What is it? Uh, no, that's Shay Gildress. That's Walker. That's uh, what is it? Shay Walker. That's uh, uh that's uh Alexander. Walker. Alexander Walker. Yeah, he a, he a scorer, man. I like him uh, out there with Ingram. Look exactly. Look, Zion would be miserable with uh Graham at the point. It is like I no, think. Hey, they did a terrible job this offseason getting rid of Zoe. Like a pass yeah, first point guard. Zoe, but I like Devontae Graham. He's cool. He can score. He a chug. So what? He a he chug. Go- like, what is I that doing for Zion? What is, that, what is that doing for, for Zion game? Why you gotta do something for Zion? Do something for the team as a whole. Well, what is it doing? Like he's he's a 40, like 41% uh shooter. Why are we talking about what Zion doing? What what is Zion gonna do for his game? Zion to start. What do you got to do? Why we got to do something for Zion? Zion straight. No, but they they supposed to build that and people got yeah, to have more the left because out. of this thing. Devontae Graham is nice, y'all y'all bugging right now. <laughs> Devontae Graham lost his spot on the Pelicans. That's why he's not the there. Politics. I, I mean, mean on the on the Hornets. You got Lonzo in, supposed to be some generational guy. Of course, he's gonna lose his spot. That ain't got nothing to do with him. It's bad. Fit. Lamelo, not Lonzo. Same people. <laughs> Zion to the Knicks, twenty twenty four. Yeah, he is. He 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 damn near begging them. He said he back. He said in the back signal out to New York, like, hey, don't forget to save that money for me. When I'm <laughs> hey, look, he wanted to play with RJ. Yeah, Julius Randle on borrowed time. Uh, he said, M said that he think the Mavs had a terrible off season as well. And yeah, the Mavs no help. I'm not counting. They just got Luca and KP still there, so they'll be all right. I don't. Then they, they signed somebody else too, though, didn't they? Was it Pascal and um? Nah, Pascal got traded to Utah. Yeah, Utah to be with uh his boy Mitchell, his, his child, his childhood friend, yeah, Mitchell. And that's what Kelman agreed. 
Uh, they can't land any big players in, in Dallas. Yeah. And I don't know, dude. I don't think people would like to play with Luka as much. Like, he – because I think he do the most – he got to be down for the most ISOs in the league he, now. I, uh, I've been saying this since the LeBron era kicked off. Y'all y'all been calling people who shoot the ball selfish. These new, The new selfish is niggas that hold the ball the whole damn game. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas hold the ball, the Hardens, the Westbrooks, the they getting thirty assists. So like, oh, he ain't selfish. Like, nah, these dudes don't even let nobody else bounce the ball. And Luca, hey. like, he he's really worse than everybody. Yeah, Luka got that ball in his hand all day, every day. And Luca, like, where some of them they let other point guards bring it up the court. He go get it from the beginning. Like, nah, I'm gonna bring this up every time. So yeah, so. I mean, if they score as off his pass. And he bring it up the whole – he don't even swing it and get it back. Luka come in, get into that pick and roll, get it past to somebody, relocate, get it right back, waste the whole shot clock out. I mean, he amazing at it. But, yeah, I don't think uh, – if another star come, you got to let him eat. Because I think uh, Porzingis will do a lot more than what he do. Y'all think he's sorry, but I think uh, he just having that Kevin Love with LeBron. And said, yeah, they, they re-signed Tim, Tim Hardaway Jr. My boy Jay Sean said, Mads lost Josh Richard. And it ain't really add no one. So yeah, that's true. Uh yeah, they having a wild season. They got coaches too. You don't know how they're gonna look. I don't know. It's, it's gonna be interesting. To me, I, I think the, I think the, the East is is much loaded. Like they're they're loaded in the East. It seemed like it's it's a it's a battle. I, I still think it's the Bucks or the, the Nets that come out, but they got the teams below. Got better. So let's see. Bulls having one of the better all seasons. Yeah, we talked yeah, about. Yeah, I see that. We we talked about that. The Bulls had a they had a great all season. Yeah, they better than the Lakers. They lucky Lakers. Yeah. But, oh, they ain't really paying them no money. But let, let's uh, let's get into uh, let's get into the NFL because you know we, I want to transition into fantasy football too. Uh, my boy Josh Allen, just want to Buffalo play. Bills. Just want to let us know he just, all that money. And he just signed that six year, $258 million. Hey, you, you was on Josh Allen before me. Yeah, don't come on here talking like that's my guy, not your guy. Don't try to, don't just get your <laughs> team. And, and on that. I want everybody to know, I'm going to say this every show. We were hated Josh Allen, thought they was winning despite him. And I was like, bro, y'all, y'all was nothing for a few years. Josh Allen hey. came. He carrying y'all. Why you hate? No, 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 now no. Now he, he think Josh Allen Pat Mahomes. No, we made we were we made the playoffs before Josh Allen got there with Tyrod Taylor. I ain't then, that playoffs. But then the next year, remember they put the next year they try to they they didn't want Tyrod to play and they put Nate Peter Peterman in or Peter whatever his name is. Boy, and then he came in and NFL threw like this. Next to yeah, he came in and threw like five picks in the first half. But that was light work, uh, yeah. So, anyway, my boy Josh Allen, because now I fucks with him. I, I call a spade a spade. If you ain't playing good, he he wasn't. We, we, but he was playing good. You he was a young player turning the ball over, but doing his thing. But go ahead. <laughs> but <laughs> hey, last year, so I'm, I'm having an argument with my boys today on my group chat, right. And you know he got that money. They don't. They like, oh, he not worth it. They could be giving me shit, whatever. But it get it gets to you know Lamar uh, Jackson is gonna be up for a contract sometime soon too, which I think he should get paid. But to me, Lamar ain't better than Josh Allen as a quarterback. Truthfully, no. I mean, Josh Allen can run too, and he passed yeah, way that's better. What I'm saying. He passed way Same better. It's different races. One can throw, uh, one can't. Yeah. <laughs> and look, he he beat he beat uh Jackson last year in the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah, if you're gonna be honest right now, you'll have to say he was better. But when you got Lamar Jackson on your team, you could beat anybody in a given week, so I ain't gonna hate on the man. But yeah, if I'm taking one right now, give me Josh Allen. Josh exactly. Allen fit in more teams, more teams than Lamar do right now. 
You can run more but than the, one system. Also, my boy Ike, if he's still on, my boy Ike said he still think uh, J- uh, Lamar Jackson is better than Pat Mahomes. At what? <laughs> and why did he ever think that? In a race? Yeah, yeah. he still think like, he like, hey, you know. Was, hell no. It, <laughs> He was never better than Pat Mahomes in his life. What, what do you mean? No. Still? That's what I'm know. saying. Yeah, you know, he was he was saying like if if you got a bad team, I'd rather have uh Lamar Jackson because he I guess because he, he can no. run around. I mean, you, line, you probably get sacked and you're gonna throw the ball 20 feet in the air and get it intercepted. It's no way yeah. you'd rather have a bad team than Pat Mahomes. Pat Mahomes could make all kinds of things happen. So I'm telling him, I'm like, yo. So he goes. Uh, so I said, what does Lamar do better than uh, Josh Allen? He goes, uh, the value he brings to his team is, is what he do that's better. I said, yeah, he's more valuable to the Ravens than Josh Allen is, but <laughs> what does he do better? Because I'm like, you can't, like, how can it be? You can't, he can't have that much more value to the Ravens than Josh Allen has to the Bills. No. I think they're interchangeable, too. And you can still pretty much do what you did with the Ravens, plus some with Josh Allen. Yeah. Josh Allen is more better, man. And, I mean, what you call him is more explosive, obviously. Lamar yeah. Jackson, like, he can still do anything, but he's more one-dimensional. Until he yeah. even – his passing catches up a little bit more with his running. He not – that's what made Josh Allen good. He can still – he still get running touchdowns. He still get, like, 50, 60, 70 yards running. He still run. But he could, he could throw that thing for 340 yards. Yeah, you know, Josh Allen threw for forty five hundred yards last year. Lamar Jackson threw for twenty seven hundred. I'm not gonna keep playing with y'all. I'm going back. What the hell he say? He better than Pat Mahomes? I, I'm done with the whole conversation. Next topic. Because <laughs> I, I, I can't even get away from that no more. So Pat oh, Mahomes. Hold on. Damn, man. Hey, M said. I'm pretty sure he told my Nate Peterson. Peterman or whatever his name is. Worst QB in NFL history. That's a fact. Either him or Greg Willahan. They tied. Uh, I got to see Josh do it again. He took a major uh, leap this year. Got to see if he can repeat that performance. He was amazing last year. He was. And he was a big reason for fantasy, too. And not saying he can't, but I just got to see it. Uh, I'm leaving if <laughs> if we just talking crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what a Lamar Jackson, Pat Mahomes comment, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Hey, he's, yeah, he said on the bad team, Lamar turned in the RG three career. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, you need Jay, some a good defense and a good old line, and he could be good. Jay Jay Sean said, just saying, uh, he will get hurt most likely. <laughs> Lol. I don't even know if he'll get hurt, but he damn sure won't be productive with a bad old line and a bad defense. Because if you fall behind, he can't bring you back right now. So what? What's your uh? Your top five quarterbacks in the league right now? Oh, that's easy. That, that when, you, when all top five, die line, die line, die line, die line. <laughs> no, um, top five uh, quarterbacks. One, one, Lamar Jackson. No, one, uh, Pat Mahomes. <laughs> Two. I hate to say this, bum, but Aaron Rodgers. Three. I gotta give to Brady. He won a title, even though I think his roster around him. But now I'm gonna give a three Brady, four Russell Wilson, five. Who I'm missing? Damn, it's probably Josh Allen. Look, that's the five I got. I just put I put Russell Wilson still ahead of Brady. Me too. I'm just trying to be uh, liberal. Yeah, but, I, uh, I have I had Russ at three, Brady at four, Josh Allen at five, Pat Mahomes one, A, a- Rod at two. Uh, but those two are still to me is like one A one B to me between uh Mahomes and 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 uh Aaron Rodgers. But what after what, what those Rams, he might he might break into there. See what Stafford got with a good defense and some receivers. Nah, he he still ain't breaking in. But top five preseason uh NFL teams going into the year. What we got? Top five NFL teams? Yeah. Ooh. We got my boy AJ Green on the card now, so them one. Now let me go. Um let me go Chiefs one, because Pat Mahomes out there with, with some dogs. Uh two. What we got for two? Uh I give them bum bucks. Uh, uh 
two, Green Bay three, Bills four. I'm going to go to Steelers five because you've been hating them. I, I feel like I left the Rams. One. Out. Hold on. What, what was yours? I don't like they run it Chiefs. Back. Chiefs, Bucks, who? Yep. Chiefs, who, who else Bucks, else? Green Bay. Chiefs, Bucks, Green Bay, Steelers at five, four, Buffalo. No, no, get Buffalo the hell out of here. I still don't like they run game. Give me the Browns. I know that sounds stupid as hell, but give me the Browns at four. Browns, Steelers. Yeah, I said it. I got I got Bucks out of one out of respect for being the defending champs. They got to come back in, and they they handled the Chiefs. They did. Uh, Chiefs two, won. two to Chiefs. What did they improve their O line? So the Chiefs. Yeah. Yeah, they brought um, what's the um, the nice dude back out of retirement? Then they made a trade for another Pro Bowl. I forgot his name, but yeah, they got a whole new O line right now. Three Buffalo. Four. Green Bay Packers, A Rod probably last year. Uh, and number five, oh, you know, who I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna go Seahawks five. Not bad, not bad, but uh, on some sleepers. I think you got the Rams right there. You might have a you, card. The Niners. The Niners is back. Everybody healthy. They got hurt too much. That's what I'm saying. Everybody healthy. They back. Trey Lance looking good in preseason. He might take that spot from uh, Garoppolo. Click that. M said, if, M said, if I tell you all my, my real top five, my heart uh, from his heart, I'm going to kick, kick him out of the live. M, we want to know. Yeah, write y'all top five QB list or y'all top five power rankings down in the comments. Yeah, yeah. Let me know. He said, "How Pittsburgh?" Yeah. Oh, cause something wrong with y'all. See, let me let me tell y'all y'all young y'all. <laughs> yeah. young never saw. Hey, he said, "You got that Big Ben bias." That's a fact. No, y'all not look. What I care about Big Ben, even though you're and, legend. And Titans, they slept on. Hold on, hold on. Let me answer that Pittsburgh question. The Pittsburgh thing is, y'all are nuts. They were. They got a great defense. They were like 11 and 0 at some point. Yeah, they had a bad two to three weeks of the season and they just had imploded against Cleveland. But Big Ben is still a, a formidable Hall of Fame quarterback who can run your thing. They got Najee, Dab, they got a real running back now. They got a top draft pick. They got him out of, out of uh, Alabama. They got the running back from Alabama. They got three receivers. They got three receivers. They got an offense and a defense. Why wouldn't they be a top team? They well coached. What's wrong, what's wrong with the uh, – I don't see where they weak at. They got everything. Maybe the O-line. But what's, why wouldn't y'all be – Look, then they have, have the O-line retired? That's why. That's my issue with them. That's why I said maybe the O-line, but everybody <laughs> – yeah, The Pouncey defense. brother retired. Uh, then that, that Charlie Villanueva dude got traded or, let, or signed somewhere else. I know that – those two. Hey, write in the comments. Do y'all got Pittsburgh making the playoffs? Because I want to come back and uh, I want to tag y'all as the season go on. Like, hey, is Pittsburgh not good? I didn't say they was going to win the title, but they're going to have a good record. They're going to win I, at least 10 games. I got Man. my boy Dre. Dre putting the thumbs down because he, he a Cowboys fan. How you feel about the Titans, Lee? You big on – they got your boy – you – they, they got my boy Julio. I, I'm, I'm big because – I, I'm I'm excited to see that offense with Julio, AJ Brown, King Henry, uh, Tannehill been good since he's been there. So, I, I I mean I'm excited. I don't know how great their defense is, but their offense got that firepower. Julio hamstring stayed good. Don't be coming what out you here think? saying stuff we already know. Yeah, no, they got two good wide receivers. They got a good running back. Where do you think their team gonna be? If they I think they make the playoffs because they division weak, especially with Wentz being hurt. So, yeah, they got a shot. Hey, Drake coming on. He not here. 
Early, bro. You said what? Dre, the Bills not going to have the season they had last year. Yeah, Dre- it's going to be better. That's Dre Smith? That's, yeah, that's Dre Smith. Oh, with that fancy name. What up, Dre? Uh, their secondary is sus. Half the NFL secondary is sus. There ain't that many good DBs no more. So, you know, that's going to lead us into fantasy football, which we are less than a month away from our draft. I'm picked 13 and 14. I know, I know, I know what I'm going with. My first pick, I'm I'm going the receiver route because all the good running backs is gonna be pretty much gone by the time I get. But you got the number one pick. Who's your number one fantasy guy that you're going with? Why are you switching up leagues? First of all, in your league, I don't got the number one pick. No, nah, I said I got the 13th and 14th picks and in, in oh you league. name both. All right, my bad. Excuse me. Yeah. I just I just wanted to buy some time because I still don't know. My heart's telling me Mahomes because I feel like once I got Mahomes, I could figure the rest of the roster out. But I don't like those. I'm a running back guy, and I don't like them running backs on the back end. So, uh, if I, I'm thinking, I'm taking, I'm probably gonna take a running back, but I don't know if it's gonna be Henry. I just can't pick Henry. He looks stuck. It looked like one of these years they're gonna clog the lineup. He finally gonna have a mediocre season. I want to <laughs> take uh, what's my guy? Are he gonna go for like three thousand? I know, I know. This that would be stupid not to take. <laughs> I want to take my guy, Cook, but I'm scared he's going to get hurt. He, he tend to be injury prone, but he was so good last year, man. He's amazing. It felt good to have him. I might got to go back with Cook, man. He's so then, cool. He still had one game he got hurt, right? Two. He missed two games. I might got to go. We don't have PPR. I see somebody wrote PPR. Yeah, man. yeah. Uh, Jay's half PPR. Uh, that's why in, a, in the one league, I was, I was the champ in a, that was half PPR. I made my league half PPR. You see how he adjusts the rules so he could so he could he think he found something so he gonna adjust the rules in his favor. Hey, so we got to get a board of trustees. We had to get a committee out here. We out here pointing the, pointing the league in his direction. But yeah, man, I might have to go with Cook. Cook was dropping those fifties. Cook a hundred yards and a touchdown every week. He dropped 50, 70, 70 yard runs. McCaffrey injury prone. Zeke or CMC Christian McCaffrey. Zeke, Zeke or Christian Zeke. McCaffrey. I'm, I'm definitely not. I'm, I'm going Zeke, Christian McCaffrey over, but McCaffrey. not first pick. I ain't, I ain't taking neither one. That's crazy because people would have broke would have would have gave their mom away for Christian McCaffrey just before this season. Look, once you hurt, I'm, I'm, I'd be done with you. But yeah, hey, so where, what? Somebody get where, hurt where early. You, hey, where do you draft Saquon? You see, he he not even gonna play like the first couple of weeks. Oh, I seen that. Now I don't draft him. I'm telling y'all that so I can get them in the second one. <laughs> You'll take them in the second, huh? Hell no. Yeah, don't pick them, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I'll take them in the second, and I'll, I'll pick his, somebody else's cousin. I'll start a blank spot for two weeks till he get back. Now, I, I got a feeling he's going to get hurt again. He's going to waste your money. Like, I don't like people hurt when the season starts. That means you come back in and retweet it, and now you wasted a draft pick. And, and he also, the year before, he got hurt. He didn't have a great year. He had a thousand yards and six touchdowns. Should have played two weeks. It felt like he might have five hundred <laughs> a week. He had five hundred a week before he got hurt. No, nah, that that no. The, the next year he came back. He had nineteen for nineteen yards for sixty nineteen carries for sixty three yards or something like that, and no touchdown. Then he tore his ACL. Yeah. So look, and he he be doing all these big squats and stuff. AP came back quicker than he did. Uh, I, I hope he do have come back. I want to see the old Zeke back. Zeke used to be explosive, man. I hope he lost some weight. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if people on the juice and now they off or whatever. But remember Zeke, before Zeke. he was busting those big runs. Now it's all five, ten, five, ten. So I gotta. I want to see him. Uh, want to see him get back. They they get that. Uh, they get that contract and they done. They done, but I don't know. I, I'm excited for this fan this fantasy season uh that's coming up. Uh like I said, we in two fantasy leagues. Uh this is the LA the King versus Showy the Great episode three sports podcast, uh sports pod. And I'll be killing uh show. Uh, Boy, think- we got O three right in the comments. I'll be smashing him and uh and first of all, he <laughs> want the Lakers with no space and LeBron and uh Westbrook can't shoot, they're gonna be running into each other in the paint. 
all clumsy and sloppy, and, turning the ball over, kicking the ball off their feet. And guess what? Points, point, points, points at the basket going to be 102 points at the basket. Oh, it got and, to be. The damn sure ain't going to be from the perimeter. And, hey, it's all good. You know, LeBron still shoot those 35 footers. L.A., Lakers. I told my boy Candace said if it's Lakers versus uh, Nets in the finals, we, we headed out to one of the games in the finals, yeah? Oh, you ain't going to be there? Brother, you're not making the finals. The Jazz is going to bust your ass. The Suns is going to rebust your ass. Y'all can't hey. beat the Warriors. You're going home. And we forgot Chris Paul re-signed with the Suns. We don't care. We don't think they're supposed to have been there. So. <laughs> and he said running back. He said that with the with the Rockets, too, remember? Chris Paul gonna pull his hamstring this time. He he can't make it this long again. He almost he tried his best to miss the playoffs like four different times. He had to fight through the shoulder injury in the uh, first round. He had the finger. He got all kinds of things going on. Uh, the last few years, he all kept pulling his hammy. He ain't getting no. He gonna he gonna fuck them up. Hold on, let me see if we could. Let me get my uh, boy on for a little quick. Who that? Uh, Kendrick Perkins. Tapping in. I, I just seen he said send the link a little late. We're well, gonna come here and talk about um he can't come on unless he's gonna talk about how Lamar Jackson better than uh, Mahomes. He gotta come in and, and uh, defend <laughs> that point. Uh hey, M, I sent you that link, man. Click that link to come in. He said, not with the new uh, COVID hitting the streets. Yeah, this is ain't going to no game. Bubble, <laughs> bubble the sequel. <laughs> they trying to bubble. They going to vac- have y'all all vaccinated soon because y'all going to fold. I'm only I don't, I don't know. It, it seems, I guess it ain't that tough to do to stop people from going and stuff. So. You seen the New York thing where they had, where they were saying people got to um, vaccinate to get in the, um, Restaurants, and restaurants, and I'm thinking. I think the, like the Barclay Center for the uh, basketball games, you had to be vaccinated to go to those games. That's what I'm saying, man. I guess I'll never be outside again. I'll be outside listening. I'll be like those people they showed at the Bucks, where they be outside cheering during the game. <laughs> the Dare District. Yeah, I'm the Dare. I'm part of the Dare District. I ain't going in. Hey, nothing. What, what about you, what, your boy? I, he be taking those subliminals. He he give a lot of subliminals out there. Uh Greek. It ain't really that's it ain't really subliminal. Oh, yeah, no, it ain't even, look, it, it, he said the name. There's like he's like, Yeah, I want to be the face of the league. You could give that to KD or Harden. I just want to be the hard worker that won championships. Oh, so he took a shot at your boy Brian. He said you can get that to one of them because Brian's done. Damn, he didn't even list him. Yeah, y'all was, yeah. Y'all, y'all, y'all was scared to get me in here, huh? Right. I just, hey, I just seen it, bro. So, hey, everybody, welcome my boy Kendrick Perkins. I mean, uh, no. Nah. Hey, watch your mouth, man. <laughs> nah. Hey, we got my boy Emery in here. Nah, I mean. Coming on in the uh, Chris Broussard role. Hi, man. Yeah. yeah man. <laughs> People, I, I, I will bleed up. Hey, what, hey, what's some of your takes? Uh, some some of your takes on uh, some of the stuff. Hold up, what's the top, what's that top five quarterback list you said you get out? Uh, I don't like the way y'all did a couple of people, man. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Yeah, I mean, I, I know my man fighting for his life right now, but I feel like Watson got to be considered, bro. Y'all <laughs> niggas ain't even mentioned him. Like, yeah, you know I man. Like, come on, man. That's true. The, the masseuses mentioned nah, him. I know, I know, I know y'all have a podcast. Nah, gotta be PC. I don't y'all can't say certain shit, but I can say what the fuck I want to say. Y'all niggas got to come on, man. Masseuse, come on, man. The masseuse. Yeah, the, the, the masseuse uh, lawsuits mentioned them more enough. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. We don't want to agree with you. Don't, don't want to do uh, uh, the baby. I mean, uh, you said what? I said you don't want the Don't Get Trick podcast affiliated with nah. sex nonsense. Yeah, yeah he ain't right this year. <laughs> nah, he. I mean, you could you could put them up there, but who are you taking out? What's, what's your five? I got the top three, y'all got. You know what I'm saying? We got Rogers, we got Brady, we got Mahomes in no particular order. But I got, to be honest with you, I got Russell Wilson, which y'all had him outside y'all top five. No, no, and, I have I had Russ at four. No, no we had three. You know, and, 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 and Joe didn't have him in there. 
But until and I yeah, love dude. Josh Allen. Look, look, if Josh Allen can repeat that performance again, I'm, it's a no brainer for me. But he went from a guy I, I can't break the stats on my head, but he probably had barely three thousand last year. He was erratic with the football. He had an amazing season last year. But until he repeat that performance again, I'm gonna go with a nigga like Watson, man. Like that's my opinion. That's my opinion. no Watson is better than him. I just honestly, uh, the rate made me forget about him. But uh, yeah, Watson in my top five. Not no rate with no rate accusation. <laughs> <laughs> If you cut the rape off, I'm, you take the rape off, Watson, in my top five. <laughs> he laughing about rape. Uh, he laughing about rape accusations. He got a part of the book. You got no pistols coming up, dude. It, it's, it's not rape. It's sexual misconduct. That's all right. Yeah, he touched the butt. Forcibly touching the buttocks or something. Like, won't he need to take his towel off or whatever's going on out here? So, so... So you got basically you got the same four as us. It's the fifth spot. It's the fifth spot because I, I feel like to not even entertain him. I, I mean, I don't know if y'all was just kind of you know omitting him because of that situation, but you know, nah, I mean, truthfully, just really didn't even think because the Texans is, is cheeks too. Facts, facts. But if you can look at his past the last couple of years, it's crazy. I know it got a, it got a transition to winning, but he ain't in a good situation. Like he, ain't, you know, what I'm saying he, he was over there. Balling without hot, without his top receiver, without injured ass Will Fuller, like the, the nigga's special, man. He's special. So no, he he definitely is. Which and I don't even look. I won't blame you for like, oh, like, oh man, yeah, you take Watson over Allen. That's a that's a good choice because he is is a special quarterback. And as long as he's healthy, as long as all these allegations, I know they talking about they they trying to trade him now and stuff, but yeah, yeah. But I, I no that it's a good that's a good five. I I truthfully just didn't think about it. Is why I didn't have him. Is there any anybody anybody else that we could think of that's in that argument? Not really. Everybody's a bunch of people on the fringe that's about to make their way. You got the um the quarterback for San Diego on the come up. Yeah, yeah. Got he, Matt Stafford, Frank, because he played with the Lions for ten years, so we don't know who he is. Uh, who else is it? So you got no, like, yeah. So Justin Herbert, probably the best, like young, young one sure. out there for sure, for sure. I mean, you still got the uh, the Bengals quarterback. He got hurt, but uh, yeah, he he got hurt and uh, he a young gunner. So yeah, they ain't got they ain't got no claim for the top five right now. So no, that's pretty much a solid five. What what about? I'm I'm looking at the quarterback list like truthfully, and you talking about Joe Burrow for the for the Bengals, but it's not a lot of great quarterbacks out there. After yeah, after that six, everybody went young. Everybody at that next tier, man. You know what I mean? You can kind of jumble them all together. Everybody man. went young, then, and so it's a, it's a whole new wave of quarterbacks, and they got a, they don't got no real placement because everybody bunched in the middle. They got to earn their spot. Even so, Josh Allen, I mean, like we just kind of him up here because he had a breakthrough season for sure. So if you if you put it in like it, the tears, I, I got Rodgers and, and Mahomes like separated, and then you go down to Russell and, and Brady, and then that that next one below them that's coming up. And but you I got Russell. Put, I got, I got with them. You got Russell with with Mahomes and Brady. I got Russ Rogers and, um, and Mahomes. Uh, really, Russ just accomplished it. Rogers, honestly. No. So I guess they do the same thing. Get to the same level. How many Super Bowls Russ been to? Two. Okay, but Rogers got what? Three, three, four. Russ been to two Super Bowls. Yeah, his joint lagging. Yeah. But my thing that was like racist. Saying, yeah, y'all been y'all been cheating uh, Russell Wilson out of MVPs all his life. Go ahead. If, if you if you divide it into tiers like you were saying, Lee, what do you say? Where are you, where are you jumbling up Matt Ryan, Jared Goff, Matt Stafford, cousins, all of these guys? Are these guys in the same tier? Or are you saying like you even divide them even, even further into different tiers? That, that's what I'm saying. I think though I think they drop. I think like. I think they are solid quarterbacks. Okay. Not I agree. not great quarterbacks. Like like they okay. they 
But Drew, if Drew Brees was still playing, is he in that tier with them guys, or is he jumping? You think he keeps jumping on them with, with the Matt Ryan's and the Goss and the Stafford's and those guys? Uh, he with the Matt Ryan's and them now. Yeah. At 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 this at that stage of his career, he he got sorry. That's that's he why he retired. Peterson. He had Nate Peterson after that last playoff game. He caught him. <laughs> <laughs> And nah, because that's that's why I'm looking at this QB list. Like I said, you could put Watson in that to me that Wilson and uh, Brady category, right. and and have Josh Allen as that coming up. But either or, those six to seven players, and then I think it 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 drops dramatically. Yep. Yeah, like, yeah. This is Big Ben too. Like he's some slouch. I was waiting for you to say something. I was waiting for you to chime in and say something to so eat your ass up. He right there. I'm with just him. saying, Big Ben's still still around. Like you know, he's an accomplished guy. I don't know if y'all seen him play before. Y'all ever heard of him? Hall of Famer, Big Ben, uh, Super Bowl winner, yeah, Grammy yeah. Award. But Big Big Ben and that whole uh, 05 draft class is almost out of here. Uh, Big Ben, he can leave. Old people can throw four thousand. He's still here. Look, he threw for thirty eight hundred last year. Uh, you know, he had a good record. He sat out a game or two. But but I don't know. Like I said, it, it's I'm looking at it, and and it's crazy because that position get paid a lot too for a lot of oh excuse me mediocre quarterbacks. All the legends went out. It's all young people now, and they went more to that running system since the uh, mobile quarterback in. So it ain't like the people we used to who just aired out. Ain't too many of them because you forgot about Kyle Murray. You know he on the up and coming. But the only one you got under got, under thirty, only one under thirty on the list is Pat, ain't he? For what we got, we got all right, we got Brady, we got uh, Wilson. Is what 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 age I don't is think Wilson? Washington under thirty. Washington under thirty. That's the, he, he, don't, he, he don't only well, yeah, Washington Mahomes. I guess I got you. Yeah, Wilson. Wilson, Wilson got to be 31, 32 by now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like I said, it's. You got Sierra. Josh, so Josh Allen under 30. He under 20, 25. I think he only 24. I got to say it one more time. He ain't at five yet. You, you, you ain't a believer in my boy? I love him. I, but if he, if he can replicate what he did no, this season, I love him. I don't know what I'm thinking. So hey, I, I just, what, what he, what's crazy. Hey, when he, show up, when he show up in that second round, third round for you, and, and you, 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 you on the clock. <laughs> Facts. You you on that fantasy Yo, clock? Hey, 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 y'all say what you want to. You can say whatever you say about a player. When you get a fantasy football draft, your heart. I'm about to say that. The reason why I got to The reason why. I... I can't yeah, you ain't lying. Well, what the thing with Josh Allen is he might be the MVP because that Bills team. Sorry, without him. You ever just really looked at it? Yeah. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, we hear you. You hear me? Yeah. Josh Allen, without Josh Allen, that team is like, like, look at that roster. They, he did the best running back on the team. Facts. He the best running back. And he only throw to one receiver. Like you can't, you can't really sub too many other quarterbacks in there and think you're gonna get the same for the same uh, team. Yeah. He, he carried them. He made the running plays. He, he every down. And, and I'm, I'm gonna give you your credit too, Show. You was right because I was, I was hard on him and Lee was too. Because when he was winning, when he was running, not making throws, we was like. We don't really know. You was like, bro, they they, they, they made the playoffs. Like, you got to give them some credit. I really wasn't buying into him. But last season, he came out a totally different quarterback, bro. That's what, yeah. He, he went was from an like a, he went from like a 50 something percent, uh, I don't know, passer where, completion rate to almost 70 <laughs> percent. That's <laughs> crazy, bro. And you don't make that big exactly of a leap. Like year two or three. That's insane, bro. Hey, Real quick, what's your top five receivers going into the year? I'm like, That's easy. AJ Green, Odell Beckham. <laughs> I got eight. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm, going, I'm going um Hopkins, Devontae Adams, now that uh Aaron Rodgers back. Hopkins, Adams, Tyreek Hill. Uh who the four and the five. I'm gonna go with my guy from um, Tampa Bay, Mike Evans, at four. Who five? Oh, my bad. No, 
I'm gonna go with uh, Diggs at four. Then I'm gonna go with Mike Evans at five. Woo, M. I I got Hop. I got Tyreek. I got Adams. Y'all like Michael Thomas is dead because he had a bad season, but you know what I mean. I don't, I don't, no, because he's gonna miss the first two games, and I'm mad at him. <laughs> so you take you would take Mike. You said Mike Evans and Diggs was your last two ads? That's what fantasy telling me. I'm acting like I'm in the clock. And I'm I, ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that. But I'm, I'm definitely, I know a lot of people get a lot of backlash by putting Tyreek in there because he's small and saying he can't run the whole route tree and all that stuff. I don't give a damn. He's a game changer. I, I don't need the route tree. He can run straight. Yeah, I, I, he's a game changer. So I'm put, I'll put him up there. So that'll be my top five. So we're putting Thomas in there. Devontae one. Diggs two. Hop three. Uh, oh, at four. Four is it's three, three kill five. Julio, this that's order for you in order. Oh, in order, you how the hell did Diggs pass the, 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 the ever so steady Hopkins in one good season? I mean, he had good seasons before, but he wasn't even the top 10 before, probably. Now look, he jumped over. Now, he look, over now he, he, now he, look, he, he got a good quarterback that's that could throw him the ball deep, and and and, and he a, got all the he getting all the passes. That's some Buffalo bullshit. Hey, uh, what about, would y'all put a healthy Mike Thomas up there? If it was healthy Mike Thomas, would y'all put him up there? I I still would. I got you. Right. I, I'm I, I'm yeah. yeah I'm not putting run, a healthy Julio. Even though he run all outs and slants, I'm gonna have to put. It. No, I'm talking about you didn't you didn't have him in your top five. I'm saying if he was a healthy Mike Thomas, would you have him in your top five? Who the hell know what a healthy Julio look like? That's crazy. I do. Look, the year before he was healthy. When, when he was he was top, he was what number two in the league in, in receiving? Or number one. And you never Who? had him in your top five. Who? 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 No, no, we talking about uh Julio. Oh, no, 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 no. I said I said it was a healthy Mike Thomas, would you have him in your top five? No, nah, no, nah, I, I, I'm still like I'm still going with the same, I got the you. same five. Like Mike Thomas uh, is is a beast, but I still will take those five over. Him. I got you. I got you. That's fair. Yeah, who, Julio last year was second lead in, in receiver. Mike Thomas killed them, but at Mike Thomas get every fucking ball too. I can dig the hell out of there for a healthy Mike. I you know respecting my my guy did yeah that too. But uh, <laughs> hey, you know what's funny? I, I I got a good. They call me Good Memory Emery, baby. I remember when Lee was calling Thielen better than Tip Diggs. Uh, you, know, we, you remember that? Uh, we're talking about we have four. Josh Allen, let's see what Diggs doing again. Yeah, I, hey, and he come to Buffalo and become that number one receiver. <laughs> They was holding them back in Minnesota. I was about to say that. It wasn't even, it wasn't even, and that's the same thing we were saying. We, we've been telling you. I was about to say, we never even put things up with Thielen until the season. Bro, like, stop, man. Hey, Travis Kelsey, Travis Kelsey in that day with the top receivers? Facts. Leroy drafted Thielen over Diggs just last year. You did? Look, uh, let, let, let Diggs drop to me this year. It's a whole different thing when he's there top receiver stats. I don't know what you want to call him. He's a tight end, but he down. Hey, <laughs> Odell Beckham come back. What, what, I'm sliding. He, That's what I'm doing out of there. Odell Beckham and AJ Green. Remember, I told y'all they, they on the way back this year. Hey, Diggs, Diggs went from 94 targets in Minnesota. Odell to Beckham and AJ Green sliding back into the top receivers this year. Remember, I heard it here. So you, you see the difference? I'm not, I'm you know not, what? I'm dropping digs because if I had 160 targets, I'd be in top five of the season. Hey, well, anyway, 166 hey, targets. We appreciate I'm a you coming I'm out. Sure. You know that. You know that ball team, Hey, Team USA about to uh, go live right now. They about to get. They got the game. Uh, the gold medal game going on live right now. So I'm about to go hop on and watch that. Hold on, and remember, hold on before you get into that. I want to tell everybody real quick, Leroy 
when when he thought USA was losing, like every other LeBron fan, they was talking about Durant can't lead nothing. This is that you know you ain't seen a damn thing about Durant since they start winning every game. Okay. Look, I I told you, I said, yo, Team USA, if yeah, they man. don't if they don't be scoring, if Durant ain't out there playing like Luca is with in the in those games, why is he out there? You, you know he leading them in scoring, right? I, but he he wasn't though at first. You he mean the one game? Out the, He's, he talking he about the one games. game, but it was like he's supposed to be a leader. He can't win nothing as a leader. And then all of a no, sudden he, he took off. He had two Grant games. Thompson. One game he had like 13. Another one he had 10. Like, what you hey, out there scoring 10 hey, points hey, in a game? Henry, stay tuned. He averaged 30 in gold medal games, man. Stay tuned, man. Stay locked in. Uh, hey, yeah, I, yeah. Don't, I, look, I'm going, for, I'm going for Team USA. <laughs> I, of course. I would assume so. I'm going for Team USA. Yeah, I don't I, care I, about I, France. I got some kind of ties on I ain't even, I ain't even eating no croissant. Yeah, sure. You, you, hey, you want mad? You want mad if he had an innocent fifteen with a win, though? If if they lost and he had fifteen, I bet you you'd be upset. Like, why the fuck you playing? What the fuck <laughs> you scoring fifteen? Right. Yo, Michael Jordan didn't even lead the uh, USA team in scoring. They don't care. It's a glorified All Star. You don't know who's going to lead this this team. KD already the leading scorer in Olympic history. Right. They don't even know that. Look, he scored. He played in like eight of them. <laughs> you mean he's been good for, 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 uh, for 16 years? <laughs> he played eight of them. <laughs> it's only his fourth one. <laughs> nah, but yeah, I, I appreciate it, man. We out. Uh, this is uh, LA the K right versus Shorty the Great Sports Pod, and my boy M stopping in. Appreciate it, man. Until and next Broussard. time. <laughs> and Broussard is in the building. Yo, call and Broussard. Make a, uh, make a pop up in the middle of every ep. 30 minutes chill in. Out, chill out, man. <laughs> All right, yeah. Appreciate you. Yep.